Welcome to the Ultimate SC401 Exam Masterclass. Are you ready to crack the SC401 exam in one go? You're in the right place. In this session, we'll arm you with powerful insights and hand-picked questions that can make all the difference in your exam performance. We've scanned the web using intelligent crawlers to gather the most critical and high-impact questions, all compiled into one powerful PDF resource. You can download it from the link in the description. Not only will we explore these must-practice questions, but we'll also share real exam experiences and pro tips to give you that competitive edge. Let's dive into the key questions that could shape your success. Question 1. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription that contains a Microsoft Teams channel named Channel 1. Channel 1 contains research and development documents. You plan to implement Microsoft 365 Copilot for the subscription. You need to prevent the contents of files stored in Channel 1 from being included in answers generated by Copilot and shown to unauthorized users. What should you use? A Data Loss Prevention DLP. Be Microsoft Purview Insider Risk Management. See Microsoft Purview Information Barriers IBs. Desensitivity Labels. Correct answer is D. Explanation. Sensitivity labels classify and protect data across Microsoft 365. They help control access and ensure Copilot does not expose confidential content. Question 2. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You need to enable support for sensitivity labels in Microsoft SharePoint Online. What should you use? Of the Microsoft Purview Portal. Be the Microsoft Enter Admin Center. See the SharePoint Admin Center. D the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Correct answer is a explanation. The Microsoft Purview Portal is where sensitivity labels are created and managed. This enables SharePoint to recognize and enforce label policies. Question 3. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription. You need to customize encrypted email for the subscription. The solution must meet the following requirements. Ensure that when an encrypted email is sent, the email includes the company logo. Minimize administrative effort. Which PowerShell complet should you run? A set IRM configuration. B set on me configuration. C set RMS template. D. New OME configuration. Correct answer is B. Explanation. Set OME configuration allows easy customization of encrypted email. It lets you add your company logo with minimal setup. Question 4. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You need to ensure that encrypted email messages sent to an external recipient can be revoked or will expire within seven days. What should you configure first? A. a custom branding template. B. A mail flow rule. C. A sensitivity label. D. A conditional access policy. Correct answer is a explanation. A custom branding template allows configuration of email expiration settings. It is the first step before applying expiry through encryption policies. Question 5. You have a Microsoft SharePoint Online site named Site 1 that contains a document library. The library contains more than 1,000 documents. Some of the documents are job applicant resumes. All the documents are in the English language. You plan to apply a sensitivity label automatically to any document identified as a resume. Only documents that contain work experience, education, and accomplishments must be labeled automatically. You need to identify and categorize the resumes. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you include in the solution? A. A trainable classifier. B. A. Keyword dictionary. C. A. Function. D. An exact data match EDM classifier. Correct answer is a explanation. 
trainable classifiers can intelligently detect patterns in documents. They automate labeling by recognizing resume formats with minimal manual input. Question 6. You are planning a data loss prevention, also called DLP solution, that will apply to Windows client computers. You need to ensure that when users attempt to copy a file that contains sensitive information to a USB storage device, the following requirements are met. If the users are members of a group named Group 1, the users must be allowed to copy the file, and an event must be recorded in the audit log. All other users must be blocked from copying the file. What should you create? A 1DLP policy that contains 1DLP rule. Be 1DLP policy that contains 2DLP rules. See 2DLP policies that each contains 1DLP rule. Correct answer is C. Explanation. Separate DLP policies allow clear targeting of different user groups. One policy allows and logs for group 1, while the other blocks all others. Question 7. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription. You need to ensure that users can apply retention labels to individual documents in their Microsoft SharePoint libraries. Which two actions should you perform? A from Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, create a file policy. B from the SharePoint Admin Center, modify the site settings. C from the SharePoint Admin Center, modify the records management settings. D from the Microsoft Purview Portal, publish a label. E from the Microsoft Purview Portal, create a label. Correct answer is D and E. Explanation. Creating and publishing labels through the Microsoft Purview Portal enables retention labeling. This gives users the ability to apply them directly in SharePoint. Question 8. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription that contains a Microsoft SharePoint online site named Site1. You need to implement Microsoft Purview Data Lifecycle Management. What should you create first? A. a sensitivity Label Policy B. A. Data Loss Prevention DLP Policy C. An Auto Labeling Policy D. A. Retention Label Correct answer is D. Explanation Retention labels are the foundation of lifecycle management. They define how long data is retained and when it should be deleted. Question 9. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You need to create static retention policies for the following locations. Teams chats. Exchange email. SharePoint sites. Microsoft 365 groups. Teams channel messages. What is the minimum number of retention policies required? A1. B2. C3. D4. E5. Correct answer is B. Explanation. Teams chats and channel messages can be grouped in one policy. All other locations can be grouped into a second, making it two in total. Question 10. You have a Microsoft 365 tenant. You have a database that stores customer details. Each customer has a unique 13-digit identifier that consists of a fixed pattern of numbers and letters. You need to implement a data loss prevention DLP solution that meets the following requirements. Email messages that contain a single customer identifier can be sent outside your company. Email messages that contain two or more customer identifiers must be approved by the company's data privacy team. Which two components should you include in the solution? A. A sensitivity label. B. A sensitive information type. C. A. DLP policy. D. A. retention label. E. A. mail flow rule. Correct answer is B and C. Explanation. A sensitive information type detects the unique identifiers. A DLP policy then enforces the rules based on how many are found. Question 11. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You need to prevent users from uploading data loss prevention or DLP-protected documents to the following third-party websites, 
web1.contoso.com and web2.contoso.com. The solution must minimize administrative effort. To what should you set the service domain setting for endpoint DLP? A star.contoso.com. Bcontoso.com. See web1.contoso.com and web2.contoso.com. Dwebstar.contoso.com. Correct answer is D. Explanation. Using a wildcard pattern like webstar.contoso.com simplifies configuration. It blocks all matching subdomains with one rule, reducing admin effort. Question 12. You are creating a data loss prevention DLP policy that will apply to all available locations except Fabric and Power BI workspaces. You configure an advanced DLP rule in the policy. Which type of condition can you use in the rule? A sensitive info type. B content search query. C sensitive label. D keywords. Correct answer is a explanation. Sensitive info types are used in DLP rules to identify and protect data. They provide built-in logic for detecting things like credit card numbers or IDs. Question 13. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You plan to create a data loss prevention policy named DLP1 and apply DLP1 to Microsoft Defender for cloud apps. Which condition can you use in the advanced DLP rules of DLP1? A content contains B document size equals or is greater than C file extension is D file type is Correct answer is a Explanation The content contains condition is used to detect sensitive data patterns. It allows rules to trigger based on the actual contents of files. Question 14. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You plan to use the Microsoft Purview Portal to implement a data loss prevention policy for Microsoft Teams chat and channel messages. You need to identify the method used to detect content to which the DLP policy will apply. Which method should you identify? A retention labels. B. Retention tags. C. Sensitive information types. D. Sensitivity labels. Correct answer is C. Explanation. Sensitive information types are used to inspect message content. They help detect and protect data like personal or financial information. Question 15. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription that contains a data loss prevention policy named Policy 1. Policy 1 is applied to SharePoint sites. Policy 1 contains the rules displayed in the following order. Rule 1. Notify users. Rule 2. Restrict access. Rule 3. Notify users, restrict access, and do not allow user overrides. Rule 4. Restrict access and allow user overrides. You need to identify the overall result of policy 1, where the target content matches the conditions defined in every individual rule. What is the overall result of policy 1? A notify users only. B. Notify users, restrict access, and do not allow user overrides. C. Restrict access and allow user overrides. D. Restrict access only. Correct answer is B. Explanation. When all rules match, the most restrictive rule takes precedence. This results in notification, restricted access, and no override option. Question 16. Your organization needs to prevent external sharing of files containing sensitive information across Microsoft 365 services, while still allowing internal collaboration. You've been asked to configure a Microsoft Purview Data Loss Prevention Policy that supports this requirement. Which two actions should you perform? A configure the DLP policy to monitor Exchange Online and SharePoint. B. Define sensitive information types like credit card numbers. C. Enable users to override policy restrictions. D. Exclude internal users from the policy. Correct answer is A and B. Explanation. 
monitoring key services, and defining what is sensitive are essential steps. This ensures the DLP policy knows what to look for and where. Question 17. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription and the following types of devices. Windows 11. Android. Mac OS. You plan to implement endpoint data loss prevention. Which device types can you onboard to Microsoft Purview? A Windows 11 and Android only. B. Windows 11 and Mac OS only. C. Windows 11, Android, and Mac OS. D. Windows 11 only. Correct answer is B. Explanation. Only Windows and Mac OS are currently supported for Endpoint DLP. Android is not yet onboardable in this context. Question 18. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. You plan to implement an endpoint data loss prevention policy to target computers that run Windows 11. You need to identify which user activity can be audited but cannot be restricted. Which activity should you identify? A copying content to the clipboard. B. Pasting content to a browser. C. Printing a document. D. Renaming an item. Correct answer is D. Explanation. Renaming files can be tracked for auditing. However, it cannot be blocked using endpoint DLP settings. Question 19. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription that contains the following devices on board to Microsoft Purview. Device 1 Windows 11. Device 2 Windows 10. Device 3 Mac OS 13. Device 4 Mac OS 11. You need to configure endpoint data loss prevention file path exclusions for all the devices. How many endpoint DLP settings should you configure? A1 B2 C3 D4 Correct answer is B. Explanation Windows and macOS devices require separate configuration profiles. So two endpoint DLP settings are needed, one per platform. Question 20. Your company has a Microsoft 365 tenant. The company performs annual employee assessments. The assessment results are recorded in a document named assessment template.docs that is created by using a Microsoft Word template. Copies of the employee assessments are sent to employees and their managers. The assessment copies are stored in mailboxes, Microsoft SharePoint online sites, and OneDrive folders. A copy of each assessment is also stored in a SharePoint online folder named Assessments. You need to create a data loss prevention policy that prevents the employee assessments from being emailed to external users. You will use a document fingerprint to identify the assessment documents. The solution must minimize effort. What should you include in the solution? A create a fingerprint of assessment template.docs. B. Create a sensitive info type that uses exact data match. C. Import 100 sample documents from the assessments folder to a seed folder. D. Create a fingerprint of 100 sample documents in the assessments folder. Correct answer is a Explanation Fingerprinting the original template allows detection of any copies. It is quick and efficient, avoiding the need to scan large volumes of documents. Check the description for the PDF download link and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for upcoming episodes. Thank you.